There is a piece that immediately I go to security. I go to understanding and making sure that we're, we're giving the right information at the right time, right? So we need to have our guide rails. We need framework around that. We are leveraging it. We have announced we're putting it into Slack. We've got it going into Service Cloud and Sales Cloud. It's going across our customer 360. So it's definitely something front and center and we're very thoughtful about how we're going to put controls in place. I'm excited about it because it's going to help me scale. It's going to help me personalize. We use um, Data Cloud, which is obviously our CDP. That is where I'm rationalizing the information and I'm going to create personalized experiences that feed it into my teams. So for example, I'm in a chat. I'm going to be able to leverage that insight and personalize the content. We were kind of debating a little earlier around the concept of is it become overused and do people feel like, oh, it's just you know, you know, automated and it's not real. I think there is a risk for that, mm -hmm. um, but I feel we're at this really interesting reflection point where we can harness some of that and see how it evolves and learn from it. It's not gonna be perfect. We're gonna have iterations and it's gonna be cooler as we go, but I'm pretty excited about how I'm gonna scale and personalize the experience based on it. We hear that quite a bit um, as well. Erica, what are your thoughts? Yeah. A, you're in the world of data. I, I am in the world of data and uh, it stresses me out every day and I think that's why it keeps me looking like I'm 25. Um, you know, it's, it's, I think there's pros and cons to any tech, I think is really what it comes down to. I think a lot, like Catherine and I were having a great discussion about it. It's, if you use it in the right way and in the best capacity, it could be the greatest thing for you. It's, if you have that hiccup, that one moment, it could become the biggest nightmare for you. And so it's, it's knowing how to use it. It's knowing the way to use it. I love to, uh, we actually just had this, this debate about chat GPT and we were talking about, it's the coolest tech out there. And I was like, yes, I remember when I was reading a Time article that in 2023, there was gonna be 5 billion IoT, IoT devices. It's 2023 now and I'm like, dear God, my, my threat landscape or my tech landscape now is so massive that if I try to pick up every single technology today, I can't give the best customer experience. So I'm in that, that constant trade-off of, does it make sense for us to adopt it now? Like, it's the cool thing today, but give it six months, there's going to be chat GPT 2.0, and it's going to be this next cool thing, and I'm going to be like, great, and I'm still going to be faced with what's the customer experience, and resiliency is another thing we were talking about around it. It's like, I love it when people say, I've designed for fault-tolerant, resilient systems, and I was like, really? Because we're all still having outages as an industry. So we're not really fault-tolerant, resilient,